This video is to invite you to join me in a two week challenge. I am hosting it inside a Facebook group. And this is the quick story behind it. Several weeks ago, I learned that Cancun.com is searching for a Cancun experience officer. I knew right away that I wanted to be their CEO. So I submitted my application and admit that I was initially discouraged by the fact that there is a voting component. And I jumped over that fear. I jumped over that significant discomfort. And I have already, just two weeks into the process, learned some valuable things. And I'd like to share a couple of them with you. Number one, your dream is to be voiced. It is to be reverberated. If you think about real birth, has it ever happened quietly? <laughs> also, conception ain't that quiet. The point is that that is a distortion that happened to the human narrative that said, keep your dreams to yourself. That's nonsense. When you dare to share and voice what it is that you want, you grow your own strength, you grow your own power, you increase your likelihood to meet and match the thing that you claim to want. So I'm very grateful that this contest pulled me out of that ridiculous belief. You know, fear would tell us that we would be ridiculed and rejected and judged and disapproved and um, humiliated from public failure. So just keep it to yourself and hedge your bets and just, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm calling my own self out because that's how I behave. I would work hard and privately and hope for the best. But these circumstances required different from me, and I'm so glad that they did. You know, just all I can do is humbly ask and say, hey, I need your help in this way. I need a vote from you a day. Two if you want, because you can vote from, you know, multiple devices. So all I can do is put it out there, and I did. I have been getting this, the help and the support that I asked for. So far, there's uh, close to 4,000 entries. And in the last couple of weeks, I've been holding steady in the top 70. So I've, you know, really been like flexing my trust muscle and, and in, in terms of, you know, just uh, sharing this thing and have been really humbled and really very supported and met. So here's an example for you, a story for you in person yet, but we are connected, um, you know, in affection and in friendship online. Uh, she aligned her hope with mine and so she was looking at some of the videos of my competitors and she noticed that a lot of the best videos have drone footage and so she's you know she reached out to me and, and, and determined that my competitive edge could be um, shrunk with a drone camera so she was interested in being, you know, making that happen. Help her that to be an example to you. What would happen if you, this is the challenge I'm inviting you to, for 14 days in that you desire. And the parameters is simply that it's something that can hold your interest for at least 14 days. If, if you're gonna lose the flavor on day three, if it becomes boring and uninteresting, after one week, that two women in the group have, all, have, you know, acknowledged their desire for a home. That's a big one. And it's been repeated enough that it's now a thing in me. I want Adara's home with her. And I know that I'm not the only one who would feel that way. I'm, and I just would like to create a little bubble on Facebook, a little bubble in the world where drone cameras, show up for you where real real estate leads show up for you so that's what i'm wanting to do so yes i am saying please help me vote for me every day for the next 14 days 
on all the devices you have access to. And let that vote merely serve as a prompt, as a trigger to remember this thing that you have deemed important enough to focus on with the, the, with the discipline of doing it daily. Every day for 14 days, come to the group, respond to the prompt that I'll provide. I'll provide a prompt every day and you know, give your vote number if you happen to remember it, if not, no biggie, um, and share this thing, nurture your desire with you. We are going to co-nurture each other's desire and be in agreement with each other for the best outcome for each other. Would you be willing to be informed by your desire? Would you let your desire teach you, enlarge you, expand you? My desire has. <laughs> this, you know, this thing about being CEO, it has already expanded me. In the comments of this video, you will find a link to the Facebook group that I've referenced. Please request to join it. I will absolutely accept your request and then let's begin this journey. See you in the group.